Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. If you saw the Soul Train Awards this past Sunday, you would know that an artist named Queen Nigel performed at the BET Soul Cypher. And a lot of people gave her her props. However, another R&B singer named Little Mo kind of criticized her vocals. She said this, where shall I begin? Okay, here goes. From what I've seen, Queen Nigel is a very, very pretty girl. My daughters love her music as she will be their future. And when they look back, this is who is chosen to lead the millennials into what's new and next in music. I pray she beats all the odds does numbers and remains humble. As for this cypher, maybe the pregnancy is prohibiting her from singing from the bottom of her pit. Maybe she should have war cry or should have sat this one out until her seasoning is to its fullest flavor. I really don't know much about her besides what the blogs post, but I believe she can reach her fullest vocal potential outside of its mediocrity if she stays around vocal bibles. The look and voice is there. Just needs someone on her team to tell her to tap in. Because to be honest, too many sound alike, look alike, and have the same story, YouTube or social media. So when they get out here in the real world and do one show, whole voice is gone. I don't know what it takes to have stay in power now. I know popularity is always first pick. Hopefully this doesn't go over y'all heads, but look at both videos and don't judge. Just assess the passion and let me know who made you feel away after they sang and who was just there because they got booked for it. And I don't care how old, washed up singer I am, I'll still sing these girls into their grave and out of it. So miss me with all that stuff. And while you're at it, look up Yeba Smith and she will sing half the world into a ditch. She should have been up there with Kelly and them if we talking about teams. Love Always, the voice of the committee and pioneer of I don't give a blank. I don't give a blank what a girl got to say. She ain't gonna do nothing, no cap. Huh? Now, okay. <laughs> now, Little Mo's statements come off as critical, obviously. And it sounded like she wanted to be on that stage herself. And yes, they need to invite her next year because Little Mo can sing, okay? But that's besides the point. Um... Aside from the obvious shade, I do somewhat agree with her when it comes to Queen Naja's voice. Queen Naja, however, did not appreciate Little Mo's comments. She said, word of advice from a young singer just now entering the music industry to vets who've been in the game, encouragement goes a long way. Someone can look up to you and adore you and you can completely ruin their view of you by speaking down on them. I'm just doing what God called me to do and that's to use my gift of singing to reach others. I just started out in this game and I'm open to anything that could improve me as a singer person etc you should never have to put down someone to get your point across and i agree with queen Naja, but like i said before i also agree with little mo even though little mo was throwing some unnecessary shade i do think she has some valid points when it comes to queen Naja's overall sound Queen Naja is a great singer. She really is a great singer, but sometimes her voice can be a little monotonous. And I've tried to listen to some of her songs on the radio, but I don't know what it is. There's nothing that's particularly special about her overall sound. However, that doesn't take away from the fact that she can sing. And I think this is what Little Mo wants her to do. She wants her to push herself to really sing with that passion because she has it in her. her face off but sometimes she doesn't showcase that in her songs or in her performances sometimes the passion isn't there and i do give her a pass because she is pregnant right now and she can't sing to her fullest potential while being pregnant right now but still she has it in her 
I thought it was super sweet that Jasmine Sullivan sent a message to Queen Naja and said, Queen Naja, you sounded good, baby girl. Everyone did amazing on Soul Train Official. Congrats to all the performers, nominees, and winners. Now, Jasmine is a true class act for giving Queen Naja her props. And honestly, a compliment from Jasmine Sullivan trumps any other opinion. <laughs> Jasmine is the truth. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.